There she is. So I'm back in Kentucky. Um, I got this spot probably a month and a half ago. And I had a buck show up, a bachelor group show up like one time here in the summer. Um, one of which was a really big 10 pointer. Didn't really see him again for, I mean, just that one time. And here a month and a half later, I just got a picture of him October 10th last night of a huge 10 pointer in here. And I actually looked and this is not a Spartan Forge plug. This is just, I've been trying to pay attention to this a lot. Last night was the first full range day that we've had here. And I don't find that a coincidence to be that that's the day that deer showed back up on this camera. So I think this place I'm at is in this deer's full range area. Like I said, it's October 10th. Um, we're getting, getting later in the year. These deer are about to start firing up and uh, we're probably about to have way more full range days. So um, I just come back in here just to check it out. I need to get a, an idea of what tree I'm gonna possibly get in. And I kind of want to move my camera um, down to this creek bed because when we late when we put it in here last time it was uh, after dark so just want to lay eyes on this place it's actually my first time looking at it in the daylight and uh, probably gonna make a move on this deer at some point this is a pit stop I'm making on my way up to Michigan uh, where I've got another buck that I was on that's pretty dang fresh another rub All right, so that is where I'm parking, coming down this trail that I've got raked out, popping right up into the top of this tree right here. So my access should be pretty doggone good in here, be able to slip in and out. Undetected access is major, major key. So just popped in real quick, popped back out, moved the camera down the creek, we're headed to Michigan. That was this morning in front of my deer stand at 15 yards that I hung in that mock scrape I put in there. I bought my hunting license last night online, bought the tag, everything. Thought I was good to go. Kept doing some research just to double and triple check that I had all my proper licensing. And I realized that I have to have an in-hand tag. And all the stores were closed and I'm going to a sportsman's warehouse now. They open up at nine, which is opening up here in about 20 minutes to buy my tag. So I could not hunt this morning. And the buck, I'm just gonna call him, I guess the marsh buck, uh, showed up for the first time in like two weeks right in front of my stand uh, almost as if he's just rubbing it in my face and it always seems like that is just so typical of deer hunting is that these deer just uh, almost antagonize you it's like they know when you're there and when you're not so I'm going to get my tag now and we will definitely be back this evening uh, but I woke up this morning and was drinking some coffee and checking pictures waiting on sportsman's warehouse to open and that was the last thing i wanted to see we are good to go boys package has been acquired Uh, that was pretty cool um, 
I watched the footage back. You can't see. I don't think you can see him at all. But he was in there just like we thought, and I at least figured out maybe which part of the marsh he likes to bed in. He kind of came out of the back corner, generally in the direction I thought he would come from. Um, hopefully, uh, he will continue to frequent this area as it's kind of getting later in October. So I'm gonna be back in the morning. It was kind of a risk going all the way uh, deep in the marsh like that, like we did, getting right up on him, but it was fun. It was a really cool hunt. I'm gonna play it safe and hunt the edge tomorrow morning. Now I'm sitting here, my Kentucky giant just showed up. <laughs> I'm gonna head down south and meet up with Drew. We got a nice deer in Kentucky. We'll make a run at him for the next few days, see what we can make happen. Hello. <laughs> hey, buddies. <laughs> What's up, dude? Uh, what you guys doing? What's happening? Just hanging out. Yeah? Y'all look nice and comfy. Facebook marketplace action. <laughs> Are you? What are you buying? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Window shopping. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you tie tie? <laughs> Tired of sitting in the car driving around all day. I think I'm going to need back surgery after this little rendezvous of mine. I told Hunter we need to hire a full time masseuse to follow us around. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need one. <laughs> What'd she say? The last week has been, I've been all over the place. I feel like my head's got a, like spinning in circles. It's got a pretzel in my head. <clears throat> Started here, got the picture of this big 10, headed up to Ohio, found a really big deer in Ohio, headed back up to hunt my big deer in Michigan, hunted a couple days in Michigan, trying to finalize permission in Ohio, back down here to hunt this deer in this creek bottom. And I've got stands hung in Michigan and Ohio. Vertical sent us some stuff. They like literally overnighted it because I was out of uh, climbing sticks and everything. So we've got stands in a bunch of different states. Shout out to those guys for throwing me a bone and helping me out. Yeah, buddy. That's good, but we were sitting here just talking like we need to get in a stand. These deer are gonna move early. I was not expecting two o'clock. It's so early, man. All right, if he moves off and lays down and then gets up this evening, he might come back this evening. He's either gonna come back this evening or he's just kind of moved, like he just checked it today and he's, oh gosh. Dude, I was not expecting that. We were there two hours ago. Holy smokes. I'm freaking out right now. I'm about to lose my mind. Now the uh, the giant buck in Ohio is also in front of my camera. I was like, you know what, Hunter? Let's just get us a little chipotle in our bellies. We'll feel a little better. That deer's gonna move on. We're gonna get back in there and hunt tonight. Get a little chipotle in our system. And <laughs> these freaking cameras are gonna kill me. I'm gonna stop looking at them. The situation in Ohio is that I've got permission from the husband and he's wanting me to meet the wife where I can hunt there. So I have a meeting, today's Tuesday, I have a meeting Friday morning at nine o'clock to meet the wife before I can hunt in this, in the, where that deer's at. And let's, let's get, let's stick to the plan. We're going to get some chip, chipotle on us. We're going to settle down, get to feeling right. And we're going to make a move on this Kentucky buck tonight. Dude, I really think that he's going to be like right in there and tight with us. We just got to slip in there as quick as we can. And uh, 
hope we don't bump them or anything like that. Just hung this set in here. Hunter and I decided to be a bunch of fruit cups, fruit cakes rather, with the freaking Chipotle. I think it was like a week ago that I got my first picture of this deer in here. Since seeing him in here like one time in the summer, I threw a bag of feet out along this creek ditch like a week ago. And there's a bunch of does in here, some smaller bucks. And this large 10 pointer has definitely made himself known in this area. While I was in Michigan and Ohio, he was daylight in here like crazy, so we're definitely right in his zone. I'm a little concerned because there was two does that were in here and they bumped out when we walked in. I hope they kind of looked like they went the direction he went. I'm hoping that they didn't bump out. Um, I think that was the right call. I hate getting caught in a tree like that and then and then they roll in when it's dark. You don't know when they're gone. Yeah, roll in when they're dark. You like, don't know if it's them or not. And then you check your phone. Yeah, I would rather get out of there. I mean, it's getting the last light. They're, they're still probably, you know, five, ten minutes of shooting light, but not that much. He's he's in here, dude, tight. And like the last thing I want, I just want to play this one as smart as possible because if we do, I think we'll have a chance at him. Yeah. I don't want to come in here in the mornings. He's been favoring the evenings. I don't want to run the risk of bumping deer out in the dark. Yeah. So I think we just stick to the evenings. And I think if we, I think if we stick to the evenings, we'll have a chance. still in this area. I think if we keep playing this right, it's just a matter of time before we'll hopefully get a chance at this deer.
fuck is going to be a giant. But dude, I'll, when we get back to the car, I'll show you a picture of that deer standing next to the big ones. And it's, it'll blow your mind. That's awesome. Um, I want to get down. Even if we bump this deer, I'd rather bump this deer than bump the other deer. And I know he's coming. God, they're playing another good song. That's the buck we saw tonight. <laughs> that deer towers over him. And that was a, that dude, that was a nice buck. That really was. Oh yeah. That deer was way bigger than I thought. And that deer's gonna be a stud one day. But I, I don't know, man, that was a weird hunt. I, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll regroup and get back after it. Maybe tomorrow, but we gotta check our wins.
right, so we watched the clip back. As best we can tell, I feel really, I feel a lot better after seeing it. It's in the crease. And I'm a little nervous that we just didn't get a lot of penetration. We're feeling confident. You're um, right in that armpit. I mean, yeah. The only thing that the, the penetration is what's worrying me, the angle. Yeah. I gotta make a phone call real quick to lock down our permission to Sharif. I've already, I've already acquired that permission. But he said to call him just to be sure. Let's go to the car and make a quick loop. Thank you. All right, so <clears throat> we had to call in the reinforcements. I have my buddy Jared here. Jared actually has history with this deer, and we kind of met in a funny way. I'd, I posted a, a trail cam picture of this deer, yeah. and you sent a, he sent a DM and was like, dude, I've got history with that, like three years of history with that buck. And so uh, we've actually hit off a good friendship, and I told him that if, if I had a chance at this deer that I want to share this with you. I know that this deer means a lot to you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've already killed a huge buck this year, so yeah. you've had, a, you've had a, a good year, but I know that this buck was special to you from from what it sounds like so i wanted to i appreciate that i wanted to share this with you you missed this deer in 2020 in 2020 i shot right underneath him he meant 24 25 yards and uh never seen him again in person <laughs> dude i mean you not yeah so I, we were sitting in the stand and i was like i told you i was just like man i we're going to ohio tomorrow like in my head i was like we got to do something different because as much as he was daylighting it was like three days in a row that we sit him, we don't see him, we see all these other bucks. It's like something is tipping him off. Like, and I, I thought it was our wind, but. So what I want to do is we watch the shot back. It looks good, okay. but it wasn't like a, it didn't blow right through him, <clears throat> which, you know, I, I'm just a little concerned on the penetration. Um, How much did you get, you think? I mean, we watched it back, dude. It's, it's like right in his crease. Okay. And uh, he, he took off arrows still in him, Luminox shining. So I'm, I'm hoping that like we can just sort of ease in and hopefully see that knock shining and, and go to it, whether it's broke yes. off or what, but. <clears throat> Although I believe that's blood right there. Oh, it is. There's, there's more right here. Yeah. Awesome, How about that? Is that his shit? Is that his? No, that's... Is that his? Look at that brow tie. Bro, dude. I you know that deer? That's him, 100%. Look at that brow tie. That's freaking cool, dude, man. Dude, I saw that and I'm like, that's not a shed, right? Well, here's a present for you. Oh, uh, dude. You got history with that awesome. deer. He's all yours, man. That's sweet. That's a good find. That is awesome. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Let's go find some horns of one that attached to their deer's head. Oh yeah. Let's say at least there's at least that in him. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is a little further than I'd like to see. I would have thought he'd been dead already. I, I don't like this. Like the fact that he's going up now. He's had time he's tied had time to make up his mind. Like he's not like, you know. Come back in the morning. Play it safe. I uh, deer this caliber, every every ounce of me is saying to back out and come back in the morning. Plenty cold. I think it's like 40 degrees, so. Or it's in the 40s for sure. Let, let's get out of here. I'd rather be safe than sorry.
You think they were in here? Huh? You think they were in here? Like in here? No, they were on the other side. You think they were on the other side? Yeah, I think they were where we were. No, other side of the road? I don't know. I think they are in this block of woods for sure. So here's the deal. We had just got back to the truck and we made a decision to back out when we just heard a massive group of coyotes just sounding off like they almost like they just found something dead or claimed to kill or something. We're going to go back in. We th we feel confident that deer's dead. The right move would be to back out, wait till the morning, but because of the coyotes, we're back. I just don't, I can't deal with that image in my head. So maybe it was just a sign to get back in here to tell us to keep going, but we're going to keep, t basically take the trail back and just keep going slow. And hopefully the coyotes are not on him. I got good blood right here. Okay. Man, this looks like a place where a deer goes to die. He's right freaking here, Barry! Yes! yes! Oh my God. He's right here! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I was like, I smell a deer, man. Look at that deer, oh my gosh. Tell me that coyote thing was not like a freaking just God saying, dude, get back over here. We were, we were about to get into our car and all of us just like, boom. Did y'all hear that? And we took off running. That deer is a tank. We found him. Never thought in my life I'd say I love coyotes, but tonight I do. What a deer. I'm so glad I got to share this with you. Dude, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm over the moon. Like, this is like, I'm just as happy as if I would have killed this deer. Absolutely. Like, it is, it's insanely, the journey was awesome. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it. <laughs> time coming. All right, let's try that one more time. You ready? This time's a charm. You ready? 